If God is all good and he created everything, why is there evil in the world? If God is all powerful, why don't he cast down evil, remove evil from the world? This is the argument of those philosophers who try to prove that God is not all good or all powerful. And actually, it led them to show that there is no God, at least the God that Christians and Catholics we believe in, a God who's all good and all powerful. How do you explain evil? How do you explain the suffering of innocent people? Where is God? Jesus ex uh, gave the answer in a very simple way in today's gospel. That's true, there is evil in the world, as it is true that God is all good and all powerful, but also God gave us free will. God never planned for evil to be part of our existence, but as we know from the story of Adam and Eve, the devil tricked Adam and Eve to disobey God, and that's how evil entered into the world, because Adam and Eve, using their free will, chose to obey and believe the devil over God. So why doesn't God do anything about it? Because unlike the wheat and the weeds, they don't change nature, we as human beings can become and be transformed from being like the weeds into becoming wheat. Because God is patient. God wants all his children to be saved, and he gives us the opportunity to do this. And yes, the good sometimes suffer, or many times they suffer. But it's through that suffering that they grow closer to God because they know they have to depend on God. And in the end, they will be gathered into the barns of heaven to be with God for all eternity. So evil will not go unpunished. At the end, God will exercise justice and separate the good from the bad, and those who choose to do bad will be excluded from being with God in heaven. There is evil in the world. We have free will, and God always wants us to fight evil to help those who are choosing to do evil things to be transformed and turn to God and accept him as their Savior and Lord.